Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Louise and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. And like usual, it's been a minute. Um, so I'm here with a quick partial haul from a recent trip to the Goodwill outlet or the bins. Um, I've done several trips since my last video, but I always just need to get it turned over and I don't make time to make a video. But I've had several people ask me to make a new video so this is what I'm going to do. This stuff's already been photographed. It's getting listed in the next couple of days. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the first 70 items from this haul. And then when I hang the next ones up, I'll just do another video. And this way, maybe it won't add a ton of time to my processing. And you'll still get to see what I found. OK. <clears throat> also, uh, excuse any snuffling. I have been quite sick. And I'm getting better now. But I still sound a little funny. Okay, so the first thing is just this crease um, poncho blanket style top in the southwest pattern. It has fringe. It's a size small medium. Uh, if anybody ever sees anything they want from these videos, just let me know. Um, and we can figure that out. My, my rack is like listing to the side here. Let's see if we can... Okay, that was probably terrible to listen to. My apologies. Okay, I gotta ask the people, what does this say? I'll give you a minute. Any guesses? Because I have no idea. This is a sports bra. It looked interesting. It does not have an RN number or a brand. Any guesses? It's a size. something. It's a size large. Okay, and then I have this billabong dress, size medium. It's got pockets and it's got little triangles. Again, I sell Volcom and Billabong and Roxy pretty regularly, not for a ton of money, but they are consistent sellers for me. I've been finding a lot of men's prana. This is just a plain t-shirt with a contrast pocket extra large it's a little bit pilly but it's fine oh I guess people like it when I say how much I think I can get so for this sweater I think I'll probably get 25 I have no idea on the sports bra that I have no idea what it says I'll probably get about 20 for this billabong dress and between 15 and 18 for the prana t-shirt this is American Eagle it has a tie front I don't always pick up American Eagle but at the bins I am definitely more tempted to do that. This is also a size extra large. Um, and I just really liked this material, kind of slouchy, um, probably $15 for that as well. This is a Lucky Brand size medium Henley Thermal in a blue color, um, probably no more than 15 or so for that either. You're going to hear that number an awful lot. This is a Jane and Delancey, size small, I don't know that brand. Um, but I thought these sleeves were really cute. And this lace up back. So I have no idea what I'll get for that. Again, I would guess probably 15, 18, something like that. But it was cute, seasonally appropriate, it's at the bins. Again, in case you haven't watched my videos, I drive two and a half hours each way to get to the bins and so I really like to make it worth my time and energy for having done so so I will pick up lower end items just to kind of get my money's worth this is a size medium Columbia thermal uh, I think men's probably $18 or so this is a cotton plus dress I don't believe it has a size um, but it looks like a small, but it's really pretty embroidery, kind of fun. I just really liked that. Oh, it says small. It says small. Um, so I'm hoping for about 20 for that. This is Erie and Alley. Um, Anthropology sells this brand. I'm pretty sure. Peplum top, probably 15 bucks. Um, this is a Karma Circle 
serged hoodie, size small. Um, I will probably get 20 for that. This is a Free People size extra small kind of satiny bomber. I'm hoping for 25 to 30 for that. This is a Velvet by Graham and Spencer size medium linen shift dress with these really fun sleeves and it has pockets. Perfect casual dress for the uh, spring and summer. And I think probably 20-ish, 25, something like that. Maybe a little more. It is 100% linen. Okay, this is a cycling jacket. Canary, size medium. It's got the pocket on the back. Um, this one I'm hoping to get about 35 for. This is a Madewell, size extra small. Flannel, kind of boxy, kind of cropped flannel shirt in green. Probably about 18 for that. This is a Patagonia t-shirt, which I will show you why I probably shouldn't have picked it up. It's a men's medium slim fit. It has this gorilla dude, but it has a hole, two holes. So probably $15 maybe on that one. This is a Nike Tech. I don't know what this is, but it looked really cool. I'll look it up. Um, and the red label is the Nike Tech. Um, this is really pretty well made. I do pretty well with those. I'm going to hope for about 30, <clears throat> unless it's something special, which it probably isn't. This is just a Lulu's dress, extra small with a mock neck with that lettuce hem and kind of these little tiny bell sleeves, just a short dress, probably about 20 for that. This is just a Victoria's Secret bra, size something, 34B. Um, so I probably will get 18-ish for that. Usually I only pick up bras if they're new, but that one was in super, super good condition. Okay, I, I did not research any of these before I did this video because I just need to be able to process this stuff. Um, but this is called Sugar and Spice by Pink Evil, which I just thought was really pretty funny. And I liked this style. It's got a pinstripe, um, almost like a take on a schoolgirl kind of style dress, size four. I have no idea what I'll get for that because I don't know anything about that brand. This is just a 1901, which is Nordstrom Rack house brand for men. I guess it's not just for men, but this is a men's shirt. Fairview wash size large. I only got this because of the novelty print with the seahorses and the season. Thought that would be fun. Probably $15. Shall we just assume everything's $15? This is um, Hart Schaffner Marks, which is a good brand. I've only sold coats and things from them before. This is a men's medium, but it's shades of purple which you can't really tell because the lighting in here is pretty terrible, but it's in really good condition. I'm hoping for 20 to 25 for that. Here is another Prana men's t-shirt, size extra large. This one's just blue, also pilled, probably about $15. This is a Prana size medium. This does not have the material tag, but it feels, it's got something in it, it's not just cotton. Um, just a long sleeve shirt, probably only about 15 for that as well. This is a Tommy Bahama. It's not in this group, but I found a Disney one. I was looking through them all and I was like, I have to keep digging. There might be a Disney Hawaiian shirt in here. And then there was one. I was really excited. Like I, I literally said that to myself and then there was one. That was my favorite find of that day. Um, at any rate, this is just a Tommy Bahama silk shirt, probably 20 bucks. Those used to be like gold. They're not so much anymore. This is Wilfred, size extra small. Little dress with this eyelet yoke here, sleeveless mini dress. It's really cute. I'm hoping for about 25. This is Descendant of Thieves. I have sold a shirt like this before. 
this is a size medium it's kind of a purpley blue um, probably get about 25 for that okay another Nike tech item this is a size small windbreaker um, probably about 25 maybe 30 I think unless it's a good one I had another one that I got it was black I thought about 25 and then it sold for like 65 so I'll have to do a little bit of research on that just to be sure this is Lucy size medium just a sports bra but it does have the little zipper pocket on the back um, probably about 20 for that this is an obey sweatshirt the kind of off the shoulder um, neckline it's a medium probably about 18 to 20 for that sorry for the snuffles this is a columbia size medium men's omni wick shirt it's kind of orange and tan it has the mesh breathable lining um, probably about 18 for that this is just an orange theory t-shirt I thumb holes I used to pick up anything that was like soul cycle or orange theory because they sold really well then I probably would have gotten about 35 for this but I don't have any idea what they sell for now so we'll see Flor de Camisa um, says wash your hands uh, it, lavar a mano I don't know anyways I don't know what size this is I don't know anything about it obviously I speak only English but I loved this print and somebody else is going to love that print I'm hoping to get about 25 for that this is a Carhartt size medium, relaxed fit, short sleeve flannel shirt. Probably about 20 for that. This is a very bright Columbia size large rain jacket. Um, it's in really, really good condition. Zipper pockets, hoping for about 25 to 30 for that. This is also Lulu's, this is a medium large super oversized slip dress maxi length it has pockets it's super soft uh, if I could wear this I would probably about 25 for that okay this I have to look up because this one was interesting this is the dress this is cute little Peter Pan collar and it's this Envy de Francais Paris um, and it has it's a four six but I kind of think it's a nursing dress um, which is really cool I did find another nursing dress on the same day different brand so I don't have any idea what this will sell for I have to do some research this is a BDG flannel shirt dress it's a size medium probably about 15 for that there's an extra hanger don't know why this is a soft surrounding size large apparently there's a big stain on it that we didn't see until it was already getting drafted so I don't know what I'll get for this now maybe 18 or so oh yeah there is a big stain um, so maybe 10 I don't know it's really soft this is J Jill Pont or Ponty however you say that word extra large dress I thought had pockets but it doesn't it has a pinstripe uh, this stuff from J Jill does pretty well probably about $25 for that this is a Nike golf quarter zip women's size large did I say that already pullover um, I do always pick up the Nike golf if it's in good condition probably about 20 25 ish this is just Lou and gray do they make anything that's not black and white stripes? Everything I ever find from them is black and white stripes. Size large, just a shift dress, probably about 20 to $25. This is Leone, or however you say that name. 
also size small. I just sold a very similar shirt yesterday. I don't ever pick up this brand at the regular thrift store. Uh, it's a Nordstrom Rack house brand. I don't do very well with it, but if I get it at the bins, I sell it for 15 to $18. It was worth the pickup, so. These are Hudson jeans. Do, 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 do. Signature petite boot cut. Not the best, but they are flat pockets. And there are still a lot of people that like bootcut jeans. So hopefully about 20 for that. These are Levi's 501s in black. They are a size 3630. They're in really great shape. Um, it's plenty of time of year for jeans, but I will pick up 501s any old time. Um, probably about 30 for those. Although, has anybody else been noticing that 501s have been selling for less recently? Um, these are American Eagle, size 6, um, super high-rise jegging. So, and they are very distressed. I still will, there's chewed hem, that's what that's called, chewed hem. Um, I will always pick up American Eagle if it's distressed, although... <laughs> I just listed two pairs of American Eagle midi length stretchy shorts, totally kind of vintage American Eagle. And I listed them for $25 each thinking that I would offer, you know, offers and stuff. And they sold within 10 minutes, both pairs, same person. So what do you know? These are rag and bone high rise skinnies in a size 24 black jeans, probably about 35 for those. These are a lucky brand, just a straight leg 3430 men's jeans. Again, in decent shape. I will always pick them up because they sell for between 20 and 25 dollars every time. These are Seven for All Mankind high rise boot cut. Again, with the high rise, I'll pick them up um, at the bins. I would not pick up Seven for All Mankind, maybe even Dojo's anymore at normal thrift store pr prices, but I will at the bins. These are Kendall and Kylie. These are called the Sultry. Really high rise, raw hem. I don't know, maybe 20 bucks. I really liked this and I learned something from it. So I liked the seaming on this. I thought it was really interesting. Um, She's got these like diagonal seams. So I thought that was pretty interesting and I had never heard of this. So this is called Pink Lotus for Athleta. So they must do like a yoga line, but I loved this. So I don't know how much I'll sell it for because I don't know. These are Land's End Starfish pants, size medium. I wear Land's End Starfish pants every day of my life. They are the most comfortable kind of yoga pants ever. These are medium, which obviously I'm not. Um, I think I'll probably get about 20 for those. They're in like new condition. Okay, these are ankle skinny rag and bone. These are a 31, which is like a super amazing size for rag and bone. I almost never find anything bigger than like a 27. They have a raw hem. I think these are going to be a good seller, maybe 50 bucks, but we'll see. Okay. These are Calvin Klein, extra large. These are like, they kind of reminded me a little bit of Beta brand. Obviously they're not. They have like a, a texturing to them. They look like dress pants, but they would feel like yoga pants or something. So I grabbed those, maybe 20 bucks. These are a pair of Burnside hybrid shorts, size 34. Um, probably about 18 for those. These are something that doesn't have a tag. Why would I pick up? Oh, so these are Prana <laughs> men's swim trunks. I don't know if they have a size tag. They do have a tag. 
It is not a size tag, so I will have to measure these, but luckily they're men's, so just a waist measurement will do. Um, but they're just Blacksum trunks, probably 15 bucks. My watch is going nuts. Somebody's trying to get a hold of me. Just a second. Okay. These are American Eagle Tom Girl Bermuda shorts. So the Tom Girl are the like super destroyed jeans. These are Bermudas. They are high rise. They have this fun kind of detailing on the outside of the button fly. These are going to do really well. I'm hoping maybe 30 bucks, but I think they're going to sell fast. Okay, more Nike. Um, these are from Cordova University, Portland. Probably $15. I don't know why I picked those up, actually. Might not have noticed. No, I did notice they said that. I don't know. These are Volcom swim trunks, size 32 probably about 15 to 18 dollars almost done folks we're almost done these are nike golf dry fit shorts size eight um they're like that super quick dry really cute probably 25 bucks for those these are some o'neill size 32 walking shorts flat front great casual shorts probably 18 to 20 for those <laughs> Check these out. These are vintage Liz Fort, i.e. Liz Claiborne, size 6 petite, way high rise. I mean, check that out. That's like 18 inches. <laughs> and they have these like argyle diamonds on them. I love them. I'm hoping to get about 30 for those. Here's a pair of Billabong. Just chino shorts, size 32. They're navy, probably about $18. It's a pair of Nike running shorts, dry fit. They have the um, like bike shorts underneath. They are a size medium, probably about 20 for those. These are Columbia, size 34 trail shorts. Probably about 18 to 20 for those. Just a handful left. Okay, these are, I don't know who Ann Bing is. Probably absolutely nothing. It feels like cheap, cheap denim. Um, I don't know why I grabbed them at all. I might have grabbed these thinking that my kid might wear them. 27, yeah. So I might have, I might have grabbed them. But obviously she didn't like them because they're here. So there you go maybe 12 bucks. I'll look them up, but I don't think I'll get much for them. These are a pair of Lululemon size extra large men's like sweatpants shorts. I saw this in the bin. Can you see it? It's a little thing. Um, and this, I don't know if you can see that either. The three lines that's often on men's Lululemon. It does actually still have this thingy. I don't know what these will sell for. 30 bucks maybe. These are some <laughs> little kid Nike Tech sweatpants. Very adorable. Probably about 20 for those. I pick these shorts up all the time and I don't know why. Everything from this brand is black and white Bermuda shorts. I don't know why I pick them up. They never sell. So probably zero dollars for those. These are size extra, extra large. They are just little exercise shorts. I actually bought these for me. I don't like them, so I will sell them, probably about 10 bucks. These are Levi's 550s. Okay, so these are super cute. However, they have some paint here and some paint on the butt. I think somebody's gonna think that that makes them even cooler, um, but we'll see. And I wish I could tell you there are 29. So maybe 20 bucks for those with the damage. That actually is kind of cool. Okay, last item. These are Panther Woman vintage 
the paper tag is a dead giveaway that it's vintage. They're a size 18W and they are culotte shorts. And honestly, I might wear them. <laughs> I won't, but they're pleated. If they had pockets, I probably would have kept them. And that's it, folks. Um, I think that's 70. That's the first bunch. And I will do the next bunch after I get those hung up. If you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, please do that now. I'm super excited about all the new subscribers. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite items were. Um, and tell me, do you pick up these brands at the bins? I know a lot of these are things that other resellers just kind of turn their head on. And so, um, yeah, let me know if you buy them. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. And until next time, happy selling.